fuck it is. <laughs> this is my, my camera phone. I'm filming yeah. this because I think we're gonna die. Uh, and I don't wanna risk the good camera. <laughs> oh yes, this is this nice. This is what are, I can't uh, believe. Get that house, that, that is the this Blair Witch house. Right there. There is, yes. That is the Blair Witch. Actually, He's not kidding. This that, we're passing the Blair Witch, Witch House. house. There's Ain't another dumb car. Shit. Get over on the your side of the one lane road. This is a huge drop down. There's the second Blair Witch House. There's okay. where they shot the sequel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this road is not wide enough for two cars. cars. This is not. This is a road not fit for humans. <laughs> this is like a cow road. I've seen this movie before. Holy shit! <laughs> Apple Maps. Why do you betray me? When this footage is found, I blame Please. Lexus. That's all there is to it. Uh, we weren't able to actually film during this activity. Yes. Uh, they would not I did allow take us. pictures, though. You so. have pictures, though. But uh, we had the pleasure of going on a ghost tour. Of Fells Point. Of Fells Point, Baltimore. Which is like the um, part of it looks like the downtown. It's right on the river. Yes. Um, it was like, what would they say? A, sh a shipyard? Shipyard. A shipyard. Yes. Uh -huh. And it's a really cool, we ate dinner there, too. A lot of really local little hole in the wall places but there's a ton of food a ton of bars and you can just yeah. tell it's old it looks so cool anybody that lives in any kind of a major city you probably have one of these areas mm. it's sort of the you know up and coming cool you know gentrified area of the city that they've put a ton of bars and more bars and bar no, and restaurant and, and bars, bars and bar bars and everybody goes down there but because they even it's had cool. some gelato shops they and did. some like clothing boutiques and Insomnia cookies. Cookies? Warm cookies till 3 a.m. And, and not just like, oh, here's a chocolate chip cookie. No, we How got a s'mores. s'mores cookie. You know, and I even, I have a um, menu from them and I oh. took it out of my bag. Oh, it's in no. my suitcase, oh, but no. we, I took one for the memories. Right, yes. Um, but they do deliver nationwide. They do. Which they do. I made sure to find out. Shameless plug, but God, did they earn it because it was delicious. It was. Regardless, getting back to the actual ghost tour. Yeah, we went on the, it was Baltimore ghost tours. We went on the Fells Point one. They do have a couple different ones. Yeah. They even have a pub crawl. Yeah. They have everything. It's a walking tour. It was uh, about an hour, a little over an hour. A little over an hour. Insanely economical. Uh, yeah, we've you know, been on ghost tours in different parts of the countries that were over thirty dollars. Oh, yeah. you know. So we looked at some in DC because we, yeah. we were thinking if we we're going to spend the whole day here. Um, yeah, and they were thirty, forty dollars a person. We may spend the whole day there if we don't get out of this traffic. traffic yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, no, really good. And uh, our our tour guide um, was was very pleasant. Um, great delivery. Great stories. Really, um, she was also a historian, yes. so she gave us a lot. It wasn't just, okay, let's stand here and tell you a ghost story. She really right. had a lot of history she told us and yes. really specific things and it fleshed out the entire area, the entire experience, and it really made kind of historic Baltimore more, more realistic. Without question. Uh, you know, uh, something they do in all the ghost tours, the very, one of the very first things they do, and we were in maybe a group of, say, 12 people. Oh, uh, I would even go higher. Maybe higher. Anyway, she, she Not asked, more than 12, 15 yeah, 15. Ish. And she always asks, so who here, you know, believes in the possibility of ghosts? And I think everyone raised their hand. Yeah. Two exceptions. Uh, then she said, who doesn't believe in ghosts? Again. And she's like, okay, well, you know, we always check. She didn't make fun of us for being on the ghost tour. <laughs> but the point is, is that what Lexus was saying with all the history that we got on top of the ghost stories, I, I, doesn't matter. I would have gone on this thing, you know, yeah. even if it was like that's my history tour because it was so fascinating and so good. And even you know, maybe we're skeptics, but it doesn't mean I don't enjoy a good ghost story. Sure. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. And, and they had. Even some of the ghost stories were really seeped in the history of what used to happen yes. in Fells Point. Right. So, yeah, and that we, was cool too. It was. And, you know, no need for us to tell you all the ghost stories. They'll ruin it. Go on the tour yourself. Um, one exception to that, though, is they do cover the uh, saloon where Edgar Allan Poe himself is rumored to haunt. So uh, in a mirror? In a mirror, and there's a great story, you know, around and surrounding that. Uh, so definitely worth your money, worth your time if you're going to be in the area. And I didn't know, it's called Fell's Point because it was yes. the Fell family. Fell's family. Um, and we saw they had some of the people there buried in just a random thing, like in the <laughs> middle of some apartment buildings. Right. Yeah. Um, but I didn't even know that. No. So I learned a lot about kind of how Fell's Point came to be, and uh, 
uh, one of the pictures that was posted on Instagram, or I'm about to post on Instagram, they had, what was it, the ghost sign? Ghost sign is what they the, called it, yeah, yes. Yeah, that had been there for so long that it's permanently in the building. And this one's historically protected, but it actually, you can see in the building, says, vote against prohibition. Because yeah. apparently there were a lot of brothels and a lot of bars. bars and boarding houses. And boarding houses. Those three are the B's. three B's of Fells Point. Boy, yeah. So I actually thought that was really cute because it was all just sex and alcohol and they were against prohibition. Yes. Awesome. To the point where the tour guide said that the police themselves were getting paid off. Uh, were not just getting paid off, but were actively uh, advising business owners on how to skirt around <laughs> the issue. Again, fascinating. Go on. Awesome. It. Well worth your time, well worth your money. Outside the oh, Edgar Allan Poe Museum. We've made it. It's uh, really hot out today, too. Really hot. Another <laughs> hot out today, but you know what? It's even more hot inside. My yeah. God. And the stairs are really steep. Really steep. Teeny tiny rooms. My Teen, size rooms. Like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah maybe you fit in them, but that's about <laughs> it. Um, and at the very top of the building, I guess, was his bedroom. It's um, kind of, v, um, what is that? Vaulted? Arched, vaulted ceiling. No, not vaulted. vaulted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's getting very fancy. Yeah, it's a room in the attic. <laughs> yes, a very small room. Very small room. And with heat rising, it must have been yeah. an inferno. And this place had uh, air conditioning unit, wind, windows and fans. It made all yeah, yeah, the yeah. difference in the world. Um, it's, it's and they seem to build the rooms kind of very small and narrow, and they built up. up. Yes, yes. Uh, this is like... Inconceivable to imagine writing under those conditions. Yeah, but they did have his writing desk. We took pictures yes. of everything and some of the signs as well, so we'll have those in this video as well. Yeah, and despite for being here no more than five years, uh, he, he put a pretty serious output. Um, yeah, there were two two um, things of poems yeah. that all the stuff that he wrote, or uh, stories and poems that he wrote while he was here too. That's so right. Yeah. All that info. Oh, and yeah. we did a lot of shopping. A lot of shopping. <laughs> yes, yes. So we're off to a great start and now it's like we're heading to a couple of grave sites. A couple of grave sites? Yeah, we'll talk all about it. So here we are. We're in Westminster Cemetery. Cemetery that dates back all the way to 1788. Very old. Everything very old. here is very old. Very old. A lot of distinguished uh, people well, here. War heroes. War hero, guy who signed the Constitution uh, oh is buried God, yeah. here. And of course, why we're here, Edgar Allan Poe himself. Uh, the original This resting is place. the original resting place. Hopefully we can get a good shot. We'll probably get just a static one later on. Um, I have a nice quote three of them never. Oh, more pennies. Yeah, we've been... Film the pennies? Yeah, let's get a close-up of this. Um, I'll film these later on. But... Yeah, basically we've uh, we've seen uh, some pennies placed on both this, the original, and, and the where he was grave. moved, which we'll cover here in a moment. Um, we did find out also, interestingly enough, that this was uh, not here when yes. Bo was actually buried. Um, the he, empty grave marker. Basically the equivalent of it, it said 80. Uh, and it was basically through the, the Poe Society and, and future friends and, and fans that... That got something going. Got some funding and then, and then finally erected this. So this is the original. And uh, now we're going to go take a look at where he was moved. As promised, here we are in the final resting place of Edgar Allan Poe. This is where he was moved. Um, it's kind of hard for us to show it here on video, but it's maybe, what, 100 yards or so? And yeah, it's kind of, it's that, that way, way and, and to the back. That, yeah. The graveyard is actually pretty big. It wraps around the entire church. church. Yeah, but still not much. I mean, I thought it's not like he was moved miles or anything. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, we're here, and again, um, and I took a shot of it. We'll kind of you know, combine it in, but they've got little pennies. Don't know the significance of that. And Virginia is also buried here, too. Yeah, Poe is not alone. Yes. And Maria Dear, Poe. dear wife and, uh, yeah, mother-in-law. So, yeah, here it is, folks. Final resting place, Edgar Allan Poe. I don't know if face-up means anything. Are they all face-up? No, most uh, of them. Most of them are. All right, we have contributed. So we're back in the car. Uh, we are making the, about it's an hour drive. We have about 48 more minutes to go to DC. Yes. Exorcist was filmed in DC. Yes. So we're gonna hit some famous spots from the movie. That's the focus. Yes. Um, so it's been a pretty eventful trip so far. My God, well, packed yeah, it all in. I mean, I mean, you drive right by the Blair Witch house, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boom, it's on. So our hotel is, you know, basic hotel. I don't think either of us slept because the AC sounds like a chainsaw. The AC is my nemesis. Oh, good God. Um, so every time it went off, we woke up. So I think we woke up like once an hour. Yeah. Ugh. yeah. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's a national news article about crazy man destroys air conditioning unit in a hotel. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it is. It is. So got up, got ready. Um, it's also hot today too. Uh, and humid. Very humid. Humid in Baltimore. So we got up, we went to, I guess, downtown Baltimore. Right, I don't downtown quite Baltimore. know the area yeah. names of where we are. Um, and we went to the Poe House and yes. Museum, awesome. which I will say, I'm gonna put this out there. Uh, There's a lot of reviews on Yelp that say this is in a, a really bad neighborhood. <laughs> Be careful, it's okay. scary. I guess you people haven't actually been in a bad neighborhood because yeah. No. It wasn't um, amazing. It wasn't a gated community for sure, right. but I was not scared for my life. We had cameras out, cameras moving. Um, it was really not that bad of an area. Please yeah. don't let that reviews deter you from going. It's fine. We parked right on the street out front. Yeah. Um, there were other it's, tour groups there. There were yeah, other people it's there. Basically, an inner city neighborhood. That's all. You know. So there's an overgrown field across the street. Yeah. Um, but it isn't a historical part. There's a lot of really old stuff there and yes. stuff that has like historic landmarks on it. So it's, it's really not that bad. No. Just get over it. And it's important to go to it see is. where the man created, where the man lived, where you know he got his ideas from. And I have to say, having been to an inordinate number of historical uh, museums and that kind of thing, hands up. Best gift shop I've ever oh been to. Oh my god. So I have a bag of all the stuff that we <laughs> yes. got. Um, we also have some still images we'll show you. I yes. have two pictures in the house. Yes. This is also mind blowing size. <laughs> it's a me. I'm five foot one, so it's a me sized house. Yeah. We actually have a couple of nice photos yes. in the transom of the doorway that will well, give you a 100% perspective of how small. And I accept that at that, that, that time period, quote unquote, humans were actually smaller. You know, like Civil War, uh, the average height of the male was 5'3". Yeah. So people don't like, you know, necessarily know that. So, so in terms of gift shop stuff, so, whoa. Uh, and hitting good. the brakes really hard. Yeah. Car swerving. Oh my. And traffic! Yay! This so we both bought de this. Creme de la creme. Despair! What? Have you ever seen a gift shop selling that bad boy? And it's huh? got a little cloud on it. Oh, yeah, perfect. We both needed one of these. Yeah, yeah. And then Dante got, this was a really cool idea that they had, was they had, um, Manuscripts oh. in Poe's handwriting. Actually, we're out. We could probably open it up because I, th I think it's one that unfolds for yeah. like framing. And he it's got on a like copy. A it's on like a thin, you know, yeah. parchment paper. So, opening okay. this for the first time, actually. Yeah. So, this is the Raven in Poe's handwriting. Look at that, huh? Okay. This would actually really look nice in your place. Yeah, well. And it's a nice size. Whoa. The camera is propped up on the dashboard, by the way, so... It's found footage. It's supposed yeah. to be shaky. Look so at that, huh? See. Beautiful. Really cool art piece. Yeah. Um, comes in a nice little envelope, too. This will be framed and, and yes. mounted. Okay, let's just fold that back up. And then... So, even though I have cats, um, this is probably a poor idea, but I did get a little stuffed ring. That would be a cat toy. Yeah, this is probably going to be a cat that toy. That is a cat toy. But I do actually have ravens tattooed on my neck, um, so I wanted to get a raven. <laughs> then I got a present for a friend, so I actually can't show you. Nope, nope, top <laughs> secret. Then, of course, uh, yes. I needed this. Uh, I saw it yes. and I said, I know. We have a Edgar Allan Poe shot glass. Yeah. So you can see yeah. there's a raven, and then it says the taste is poetic. Baltimore, super cool. Yes. I get shot glasses everywhere, so I needed this. Um, and it was just a five dollar admission, but you know what? Hundred percent worth it. It keeps the museum open. It keeps the historic value of it and we wanted to buy stuff from the gift shop from the moment we looked it up because we wanted to give them money in and support it and yeah, there were like, like so many more things we could have bought but we had to control yeah. ourselves like our thing going in was like look we're gonna buy some of the cheap crap from the gift store because we knew it went to support the museum then we started to see this awesome, awesome. shit in the gift store yeah. that was like let's stop before we could buy more so yes. yeah well, oh my god well there was it. even a, a little like a baby's kids book and it had a little baby raven yeah. getting ready for I I almost bought that just because uh, it was adorable. Edgar Allan Poe band-aids. Band-aids, candy, that? 
Pepsi, ah. bobbleheads. They had a tote bag that I really, really wanted. I just spent enough money already. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But they really seriously had great um, things. And again, I bought something that's awesome. I just can't show you because I'm mailing it to a friend. Right. Yeah. And I don't want her to see this. What's all the requisite books? You know. They did have a ton of collections. Yes. And they nice were hard covers. Huge hard covers. Yeah. Artwork. Artwork. They had, they had yeah. like a print that a local artist did of Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. Super cool. Hey, is we had an absolute blast on our horror trip to Baltimore. Oh my God, absolutely wonderful. Now, if you know of any place that you think might be great for us Please to check let out, us know. write in the comments below. Just, you know, hit us up, let us know. And also subscribe to our channel as yes. well as all of our social media, which should be right on top of us. Uh, we certainly posted shenanigans a on lot. Instagram and Twitter for sure. Uh, yes. Some of our stuff's on Facebook as well. Let us know what you thought. images from the trip.